the string. Pull the string. Alex Staunch here. You know, here on Staunch TV, I often praise the 90s, referring to it as the final frontier, and I stand by that statement. Anything went in the 90s, and I loved it. That being said, I admit it wasn't the best time for horror. In fact, it may have been the worst. The second part of the decade, that is. The late 90s produced some of the schlockiest schlock imaginable, and had more concern with reworking classics to fit a pre-Y2K cool kid audience. Ugh. And while the werewolves genre has basically been up and down from its very start, you know the classics are undeniable. We all know what those are, I'm sure. But it seems that with werewolf movies, there are far more that get brought up as being underrated or forgotten. And you know, I agree with nearly all of those choices thrown in that ring. But may I add just one more to the bunch. 1996's Bad Moon stands out from the bunch in a few ways. Hear me out. Bad Moon. It doesn't have to be Halloween to be this scary. The film stars Mariel Hemingway in a straight up wooden performance. Uh, hey, someone tell her she's in a horror movie. And also stars Dennis the Menace himself, Mason Gamble, and the scene-stealing Primo as his dog and family protector, Thor. Primo would actually go on to have an uncredited role in The Karate Dog, which is hilarious. Fucking Bob Clark, man. Now, now there's a reason to get up in the morning. In the film, our lead's brother is bitten overseas by a strange creature, and upon returning, is taking measures to conceal his affliction while looking for a cure. When his sister decides to take him in, things kind of start to unravel, and eventually we're given a pretty by the numbers finale. But hey, Thor still kicks some ass. <laughs> I guess the main reason I love this movie is that it mixes a few of my favorite things. Top-notch practical effects and dogs. I'll watch literally any talking dog movie or, you know, a movie with a dog in it, whatever. I love that shit. Little backstory here, uh, the film is based on the novel Thor, which has a lot more subtleties wherein we see the events from the eyes of the dog, Thor, who is protecting his family and questioning if the monster can be trusted as part of the pack. I plan on reviewing this book soon. Subscribe to stay notified. But overall, the movie stands out for the amazing werewolf effects, which, uh, you know, got panned in most of the reviews, but I mean, I think they look pretty badass, and they waste no time here showing it off. When compared to some of my other favorites, this one still has always stood out, being kind of a mix of the London wolf and maybe like a little silver bullet, I don't know. But you know, uh, the film absolutely bites the weenie with the transformation scene, which, you know, being a werewolf movie, you gotta get that right. You just, you gotta get the transformation right. You stupid bitch. <laughs> I recommend Bad Moon for fans of werewolf or creature features, or dog movies. Man, I wish Thor talked in this. Pull the string! Pull the string! <laughs>